Spotlight, presented by Community Health Network. This year, millions of people will suffer an injury to one or more of their joints, cartilages, or muscles. It can happen at any time, whether you're out working just from wear and tear. Minimally invasive surgery has become the gold standard for treating these injuries, but in today's Health Spotlight, News 8's Brittany Noble shows us how minimally invasive it is getting even smaller. Jacob Riding's favorite part of his day is his five-mile commute to and from work. There's a great bike path that goes nearly from our house along the metro tracks almost directly to my office. But Jacob worried that severe knee pain would derail his ride. We had an MRI done and it showed a tear on one side of my knee, but that wasn't where I was experiencing the most pain. MedStar Washington's orthopedic surgeon Evan Argentar use nano arthroscopy to look inside Jacob's knee. In the office without anesthesia with him awake, I put this little camera in his knee. A normal scope is the size of a pencil eraser. The nano scope, the size of a pinhole. Minimally invasive surgery has evolved even further to be even less invasive than the minimally invasive. Dr. Argentar was able to see that Jacob had multiple meniscal tears and through another pinhole incision was able to repair the problem. He ended up getting it twice, one in the office that discovered a problem that the advanced imaging didn't identify and then secondarily I did it interventionally in the operating room and I was you know, able to, in an ultra minimally invasive way, cure his problem. Which should mean less anesthesia, less nerve damage, less recovery time, fewer complications and less risk of infection. And about there. And less than a month after the procedure, Jacob was pedaling his way to work pain-free. I'm Brittany Noble for WishTV, wishtv.com. Follow us on Facebook for updates.